This is Bill with Titletown Drones. I'm out here at the park here in Swamico. Going to be testing the Autel Evo 2. All right, so here's what we got today. We got the Autel Evo 2 Duo. This is the one with the high resolution thermal camera. And over here in the back of my truck, I have the flight deck running on a 24 inch uh, television. So this is rebroadcasting what we're seeing on the uh, remote controller. And here's the flight deck right there. So that is the device that is picking up the live video feed from the aircraft. I've been doing a lot of uh, research, getting familiar with the remote controller and stuff before I actually put this bird in the air. Uh, let's see what happens. I really like the orange airframe a lot. It is so much easier to see than the gray or white airframes. Getting some heat signatures off the, the grass right now. It's just a very hot, sunny day. This is not an ideal situation for using a thermal, but you can see the differences in the color temperatures. And switch through on the bottom down here and I can choose my color palettes on the scroll wheel. Live deck really are going to be a useful tool if you're running any kind of a search and rescue operation. And it also has a network connection so you could live stream this through the internet as long as you had that type of a connection. The thing that we've been waiting for is a high resolution thermal imager on a portable drone, something that uh, can be folded up, carried in the squad or the incident command or and this thing, I can deploy this in just a couple of minutes. Uh, another set of features that this unit has that I really appreciate is the automated flight modes. This one has an orbit. That was something that's missing on the DJI Pilot app. I don't know why they don't have that or took that out. That's a very desirable automated flight mode. If you have a barricaded suspect or if you have a house or something that you're monitoring, just having that aircraft orbit uh, is really nice. This has that. So just a couple of initial observations, incredibly stable, you know, dialed in, locked in, very responsive. Uh, there is uh, the ability to change the exponential in the remote. You can go into your settings and you can turn that down to make it fly just a little more smoother if that's the type of flying that you want. The way that it is, it's just real kind of sporty and snappy. A little bit of a changeover for me getting used to the remote. Uh, buttons are somewhat in the same place, but the uh, command or control interface is different enough that I had to hesitate and I had to look through the, the menus a little bit more to find settings and adjust things a little bit. If I was transitioning from one type of aircraft, what I would do is I would just spend time uh, getting some reps in on this one so that you can uh, get familiar uh, with the location. So it's second nature to you. Yeah. A lot of, lot of good uh, features, uh, a lot of things to say about this, but this is just an initial reaction uh, to operating this aircraft this time. This is not a full review. I'll do a couple more test flights here, create a little bit more sample, sample footage, and uh, we'll continue our analysis of this excellent piece of hardware. Thanks.